She's not been going to chemo. She didn't want to harm the baby. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can believe it. If anyone would want to go down the natural route, it's her. I thought Witch Hazel was a kid show sure, till I mentioned Aid. She puts it on everything. Yeah, well, it's not going to work on this. Well, she's been fighting cancer with some magic beans. The tumor's grown. And the dots can't ever get that time back. I mean, there's only certain things they can do in this country anyway. What do you mean? Well, there are other treatments you can get abroad, but it's not cheap. I feel so sorry for her. I wish there was something I could do. Maybe there is. I got some seaweed and peppermint. Your cooking's getting worse, Daniel. It's massage oil. Deb swears by it. Thought I might give you a foot rub. He didn't want to look me in the eye all afternoon. But now you want to put your hands all over me. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah. Yeah, well, you've been on the strong stuff, haven't you, today? So, you deserve a bit of pampering. I'm going to look after you. You're going to be absolutely fine. But no more daft decisions. OK? Hey. So, you're on the way to the bank with the takings from the kebab shop and the chippy, and then you pretend you've been mugged. Tell me you're joking. Don't get it back off the insurance anyway. Then you could give the money to me for Sinead. You and her split up ages ago. I mean, you'd be the last person anyone would suspect. You're actually being serious about this. Look, she's running out of options and she's running out of time. Please, Chez, if you ever love Sinead, you'd do this for her. 